When we look at a number, it's the value of the digits that's important. Imagine the number 502215. Now, if we put that in a place value table, the first five, starting from the right-hand side, goes in the units or the ones column. That's five. Then we have a one in the tens place, which makes 15. Then that two is in the hundreds place, so we have 215. Then we have two in the thousands place, so it's 2,215. And this time we've got a zero, so we actually need to put a zero in that place. So at the moment, the number hasn't changed value at all. It's 2,215. We only need that zero if there are more numbers to the left. And we've got a five, so we've got 502,215. We don't have anything in the tens of thousands column. Now, if we left that zero out of the tens of thousands place, we'd actually have a different number. We'd have 52,215. So the zero is really important, and we call it a zero placeholder. Now, when we move between columns, let's say we move our digit to the left. At the moment, it's three units. Now it's three tens, so it's worth 10 times more. It's 30. If we move left again, it's three times more again, so it's 300. Now this time, it's 3,000. So each time it's got a value 10 times more than the previous column. If we move two places to the left, that's like multiplying by 10 and 10 again. So we're going all the way to hundreds of thousands. That's so worth 100 times more than 3,000. So it's 300,000. Now, if we move to the right one place, it's actually worth 10 times less. So now it's only 30,000. And we can keep doing that. And if we move two places to the right, it's worth 10 times less for each column. So it's 100 times less. So it's now worth 300. So where the digit is, is really important. Now we've got bigger numbers as well. We've seen that we've got numbers like this, where we've got units, tens and hundreds. And as we move to the left, there's a pattern that develops. Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Then we move to millions. And again, we have millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions. Then we move to billions, billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions. So we start to see that pattern. And you could keep going if you wanted to as well.